plan is to use the cleaning icon stickers from Poi and Hun, the sage dot stickers from Infinite Lotus, cloth and paper tabbed sticky notes, and this is in the color ephemera, and then the spotlight stickers in Mistretto. That is the plan. Hello friends, my name is Christina. Welcome to the channel. I am sharing how I set up my weekly overview in today's video. So let's start with the inserts I'm using. Um, this is from Cloth and & Paper and they begin on Monday and run from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. Unfortunately, Cloth & Paper has discontinued this, which means they're coming out with new weekly inserts and I just, I can't wait to see what that looks like. So naturally, when I'm setting up my weekly overview, I first write out the dates at the top of the page. And as you can see, I've already done it for the first week. So I'm gonna complete the rest of the month. Now, I don't always do this. <laughs> um, like I don't write in the date um, at the beginning of the month. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I write it out the week of or the week before. It just depends on how much time I have for planning. Um, I also want to mention that I didn't always write out the date in this box. Um, I used to include the month, but let me show you what that looked like. And it looks a little crowded. And I realized that you can just circle the month here at the top of the page. Let's reference the monthly over for June and start plugging in what I have there in the weekly overview. And so that usually mirrors the weekly setup. Earlier, I mentioned the stickers that I want to use. So I used these spotlight stickers for my monthly overview, as you can see, but I just don't know how this is gonna look in a weekly overview. I, I feel like it might take up too much room. I don't know, we'll see. The tab sticky notes, um, this is for additional to-do list. These mini dot stickers are gonna be used for my daily to-do list. And then this here are home icons, home slash cleaning icons. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a mix of this for the setup. And then I'm also gonna be using this washi tape because as you can see in my monthly overview, I'm gonna be out of town. That's what washi tape represents. The first, I have a bill due. So let me fill that out. Thursday is the first. I actually have some work to do. So I think I wanna make time for that um, after breakfast. Sunday, we have friends coming over for lunch. Now the weekend, I don't really like to time block. I more so like to just write out a to-do list. Um, Saturday and Sundays, you know, it's just a little bit more relaxed. Um, I'm not sticking to a schedule. I think what I'm gonna do is use this cute little flower here.
and pop it in the first row on Sunday and write to do. Even though I use Saturday and Sunday as uh, more so a to-do list versus time blocking for the day, um, if I have something going on that day that is timed, like a scheduled event, then I will still place it in the column at the time that it's happening, or at least I'll try to. Um, if it's already filled with a to-do list, then I just write it at the bottom of the to-do list with the time. So let's see. So that is what I have going on for the first week of June thus far. And then the following week, Friday the 9th, I am heading out of town. I'm gonna be in Reno for almost two weeks to visit family. So I'm just gonna put this along the 12 o'clock row only because I know I have lunch at that time. I don't need to pop anything in. And worst case scenario, I will write on top of it if I have some sort of scheduled event. Um, so I'm gonna do that for the 12th, all the way up till the 19th. Yeah, almost two weeks. Okay, I think I wanna try using the spotlight sticker and see how that looks. Okay, so on the 30th, I have a play date at four. Well, Shelby has a play date. <laughs> Actually, I don't mind that. I do like that. I think using the spotlight for big events. Not everyday tasks. I, I think it would look a little bit crowded here. I think the only thing that I wanna change is this here, because this can kind of get confusing because I already, in my mind, look at the washi tape as to block out a big chunk of days. The next thing I like to reference is my cleaning schedule. So um, that I only like to reference the week of, that's the only time I'm going to input the cleaning schedule. So from the 29th to the 4th, Tuesday, I am gonna vacuum. Ever since I became a mom, I've actually been using time blocking as a planning system. I never leaned on time blocking before, but I do use it now as a mom and I think it has helped me tremendously. So I break down my day from when I wake up to when I have breakfast, lunch, and then dinner is at six. So I have time in between that and that's how I break down my day. I'm gonna take that dot sticker and I'm gonna probably vacuum after breakfast. So Wednesday, I take a break from cleaning. And then Thursday, let's see what I have this Thursday. I am gonna clean the living room and kitchen.
have the cleaning schedule in place. I have my blocks written out, so wake up time, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then, like I said, Saturday and Sundays, I don't like to time block on those days. So that is more so space to just create a to-do list that I need to complete that day. So let me pop that in. my running list. I think that's what people call it. And it's just like an ongoing growing list that I tend to add to. And it could just be random errands that I need to complete. I put it down on paper and we'll hopefully get to it at some point. So last week, let's see, didn't really complete much on this list. Yeah. Didn't complete anything, so I am going to write this exact list here. Now, I know some people might think that that's ridiculous. Like, why, didn't, why wouldn't you just go back to this list? Why write it out? Honestly, it helps me sleep at night, not gonna lie. There are some nights when I wake up and I'm like, oh, shoot, I still need to return that Amazon product that I didn't want. This list, being in front of me every single day. I look at my weekly overview every day. I reference this at the start of my day. And so having this priorities list in front of me is just a nice reminder. Last thing I want to share with you all, I am still using these round cloth and paper sticky notes uh, specifically to highlight when I'm posting a YouTube video. Um, as you can see here, I'm posting a stationary haul on Wednesday the 31st, and then I'm referencing my social media calendar, and I'm going to write out the videos I plan on posting for June. The reason I like using sticky notes for when I'm posting YouTube videos is that sometimes, um, you know, things happen, right? Like maybe I get sick this week or my son gets sick and it honestly puts a hold on everything that I planned on doing this week. And so what's nice about the sticky note method is that if let's say I'm not able to post on Thursday the 8th, I can move the sticky note to you know, the 13th, move this one to the 15th. So it's just easy to move this versus writing this out under the day I plan it because there's a really high chance that I might have to change the posting date. This is how my weekly overview looks like. So I like planning my days the night before, but I like creating some sort of an outline for the week the Sunday before the week starts. It, sometimes if I plan too far in advance, um, you know, I just, I don't end up doing it the way that I planned. So this is what my setup looks like. Anywho, that is it for today's video. Thank you all for joining me in this setup and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.